Oh, my mic was turned off. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I'm HexDSL. Hi there. I've had, essentially, a week off for Christmas, as bizarre as that sounds. Um, I Not from my actual job, but from YouTube. I've just, I've not, I've neglected. The last video I output was um, Christmas Day was the last video I output. I was like, I just haven't done anything since, which has been ludicrously relaxing, believe it or not. I, you know, weird. Just didn't think about YouTube at all for days. It was great. Um, anyway, uh, I'm back. And uh, as you can, you know, my wire's getting in the way. I've got, I've, got, I've got speakers now as well. I bought Bluetooth speakers over Christmas. They're, they're Bluetooth. So they're on my desk. I've got my, my switch wired into the wire and my, my PC <laughs> wired in by Bluetooth. And it mixes it so I can use my switch and my speakers at the same. It's great. I really, really like it. Anyway, um, you don't need to know this. Why am I even telling you this? Anyway, I've also got my headphones still. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Um, we're going to talk about Destiny 2. Speci actually, we're going to talk about kind of Stadia slash Destiny 2. Um, you might notice the void. Uh, oh, it just burped a little bit. Wow. Okay, now we know I'm properly back, don't we? Okay. Um, one of the one of the uh, one of the things about about over the over the last few months is I haven't really made a video about any of the games on Stadia. Uh, I made a lot of videos running up to Stadia, then I sort of made a video of my first impressions of Stadia, but I haven't really give anything since. So think of this as my Stadia slash Destiny Two update. Okay. So um, this is the, what how I've got it set up. And I think this is I think this is useful to know for people, right? How have I got this set up? Okay, this is my uh, this is my PC, right? And uh, this, this, obviously, this, what is this? This is a tomato. I don't know. Anyway, um, what I've done is you'll notice this app here. I've got a dedicated app that just launches Stadia. So when I when I type when I when I open the menu and I type Stadia in, um, I literally get this. You know, I, I get I get that load up and then I get the app. So basically, it's like a client at this point. This is using Chromium, not Chrome. Um, I installed Stadia. When you get Stadia, you can click the little the little the three little dots, and then go install Stadia, and then that gives you an app and then you can just link to that whatever you want and it launches this as a window so there's no web interface um which basically i think makes my day substantially better um because i don't have to you know i use i use firefox um i don't have to do that though now with stadia i just i load it up and i don't have to switch to chromium or get in the habit of using chromium i launch it like a client like i launch steam um steam's here by the way oh no there, there you go steam there, steam's there there you go steam's is there uh yeah but i just launch it under the desktop and it's just there and i have this boot my computer launches it just boots up and you know, boots up it just loads this and steam and a few other bits and bobs um so how am i finding this experience then well we've had a bit of uh, an adventure with stadia um stadia for the start i'm going to show you some footage. i'm actually playing i'm going to play destiny 2 in a little bit during this video just just for a couple of minutes just to show you some stuff um but Stadia is glorious. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like Stadia. I know there's a lot of people. And every time I make a Stadia video, I get people saying, game ownership, game ownership. And like, yes, there's an argument to be made for the ability of having local files because you can mod and you have control of your save games. But overall, you don't own your games on Steam. I've said it before. I'm going to say it until people understand. You don't own your games on Steam, right? You just, you just don't is the ultimate answer. It's just not a thing at all. Um, so... If you don't own your games on Steam, why not Why not just use Stadia, is my attitude. Now, if you have a really high-end gaming PC, you're already not the audience for Stadia, okay? We've done this, we've said, again, this is going over old stuff, right? But if you're someone who, like, has, a, like me, I've got a 970, I've got an aging CPU, my computer's actually slowly dying, the motherboard's kind of burning out because it's just old, um, and it gets used a lot, right? Um, because of this, like, I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, I can buy a new graphics card, I can upgrade, or I can just... Stadia, and that seems to be working for me. Uh, now, Stadia is not perfect. There are some issues with it. Um, the first issue is we recently found out it seems to have some problems with Intel laptops. Um, we we tested like four laptops today. Me and my buddies did, um, and it seems like it just doesn't run as well on laptops. Now, it's, I know, it's not. I can't say it's the Intel hardware because I've got a machine downstairs that's my my downloads machine, uh, just all in the living room, and Stadia works fine on that. Uh, but does, like, some Intel, every Intel laptop we tried has been a bit weird and a bit laggy, so which is weird. And we, we've again we've tried wired, we, you know, we've not just a Wi-Fi issue. Um, it seems to be a combination of uh, the of the, uh, the 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 integrated graphics not being fast enough to decode the stream fluidly, and occasionally it sort of gets a backlog, and that gives you a gives this this, this rubber bandy effect. Um, the things you can do to solve it, if, if this is just a little bit of, bit of a hot life advice for you laptop users, you can use Stadia app. In fact, I'm going to show you this, right? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try my best to show you this, right? Uh, in the Stadia app, uh, there you go. In the Stadia app, right? Uh, you can go up here and you can. Oh, that's my friends list. You can go up here and you can go uh, get your data usage and performance there, right? And in there, there's this option. 
right? And you've got best visual quality, which is what I've had it on the whole time I've been using it. Balanced or limit data, limited data usage. Now, if you choose the butter option, limited data usage, that puts you in a 720p resolution, which while it isn't ideal for higher end laptops, right? The benefit of that is you're going to get a silky smooth signal because that's enough. That's that's enough. Your your your, your GPU can keep up decoding it. Um, probably and a little bit more to be honest, but it doesn't like get that that backlog occasionally, uh, which is fine. Also, your CPU governors uh, seem to make a big difference, and there is a Chromium Vapi package which some people have mixed success with, especially recently. Um, whereas you can basically force hardware encoding on by using the Vapi decoder, which obviously works on Intel and everything else as well, really. Uh, but yeah, it, it's overall it's fine. Um, so there is a little bit. It's not as easy as just install it and hit play like uh, like we hoped, especially not for laptops. And laptops use the primary market for this as well, really. Um, but yes, there's a few things. The CPU gov now 720p streams, or that, or even balance for some people. Um, but you can you know make stream performance mode. I'm wondering if uh, if uh, that feral performance mode thing would work if you link it so that it launches when you load Stadia. Um, I've wondered if that'll help as well, before the, the game mode thing. We're gonna have to, I'm going to have to do some more testing on that. But anyway, uh, what's the number one problem with Stadia at the moment? The number one problem with Stadia is... Drum roll. Let's my drum roll. Let's my drum roll. Let's my drum roll. Is games. Um, the number one problem is games because there aren't that many. Um, so you can see here, in fact, let's... Uh, Let's, uh, where's the list of all Stadia games? All Stadia games. You can see here, the list here is thin. Now, they're pretty much AAA. Like, you've got, okay, so I'm not going to read the whole list out, right? But uh, I'll tell you what I will do, just to tell you what I've played, okay? Uh, let's go from the bottom. Let's tell you, in fact, we can go to my Stadia games in a second, what I've played. Um, but, uh, yeah, you've got, like, you got your Borderlands 3 on there, which is a fairly big deal. It's the only way to play Borderlands 3 on a PC, without using Epic Game Store because again cloud console is how they're marketing it. Um you got this Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 thing which people seem to like. Uh, you've got a couple of indie games. You've got like um you've got ooh, you've got Kine, which is an indie game. Kine, 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 Kine. I'm gonna go with Kine. Uh you've got Thumper on here. You've got uh you've got Trials Rising. So you've got some sort of the, not not so much indie but smaller titles, the ones that are less triple A. I bet we're going to get a quad A soon. I bet we go for another A soon. That's what's going to happen. Uh, but this is the whole list. This is every game available on Stadia. Now, this is a real problem. And the reason it's a problem is because, like, I've bought all the games I want. Literally, I have now I have now purchased or claimed every game I'm remotely interested in in Stadia. There's, like, no more I care about. Like, maybe at some point, if nothing else comes out, I'll be like, I'll try Red Dead. Fuck it, you know? Um, especially if it slips in price by another $5 or something. I'll be like, go on then, let's do that. Um, but overall, there's nothing else I really want to play on here. And that's the main problem. Now, I've got stuff to play. It's not like I'm not playing stuff on Stadia. But, um, I've you know, there's nothing else I can play. And here's my Stadia home here. Um, oh, there's my Stadia home there. There you go. Uh, and I've got, obviously, I've played Destiny 2. I've played a shitload of Destiny 2. Like, I have played, like... I, I'm shocked at how much I'm enjoying it. Even when I started, I was like, oh, I'll probably play it for a couple of weeks and move on. Mm -mm, I'm hooked, man. This is a good game. The Destiny 2 I played a lot of. I picked up Rage 2, which I've barely touched on here. I've owned that on Steam, actually. And occasionally on Steam, but occasionally I get a crash on Steam uh, through Proton. Um, which is not, not often, but occasionally. And I was like, it's like 12 bones on Stadia. It was like literally like 12 pounds on Stadia. 12 pounds and some pennies, I think. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll buy it on there. I don't have to worry about it crashing. And it looks awesome it's so much more fidelity than the uh, than it was running on my pc uh which again if you've got a computer capable of 4k if you've got high-end pc and you're running everything at buttery smooth max settings anyway stadia is going to look worse for you probably because most things are coming across at 1080p at high, at high settings not ultra most things we've got assassin's creed odyssey which i played quite a bit of but i feel like i've barely scratched the surface farming simulator loaded it up uh, Tomb Raider, I loaded it up. I played that before. Final Fantasy, played about, so I played about ten hours of that. Samurai Showdown, loaded it up. So there's a lot. Of, I'm playing Rage, playing Assassin's Creed, playing Final Fantasy, and playing the shitload of Destiny. So I'm not short of things to play. Um, I'm gonna hit play now and just load up this. So you'll see it might be loud. I don't know if it's loud. See if it's loud or not. Chromium playback. No, it doesn't look that loud. It doesn't look, does that loud? It doesn't look that loud. It's on the wrong audio device anyway, so it probably won't matter. It's output into my microphone. Why is it outputting to my microphone? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's uh, let's find out why it's outputting to my microphone. Because that's a stupid place to output to. You think the game would know better, really? Oh, there we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You watch now. This is like I've I've also blocked headset access to Chromium because I don't want that. This is where I'm going to find out the game's going to crash now, isn't it? The first time I let I load it, do the video, it's just going to be like hard crash. Fuck you. Um. 
There we go. There's no sound still. It's weird having no sound because again, go into my microphone, which is fucking weird. You know, it's just weird. Uh, low times. Uh, this is something else you'll notice on Stadia. The low times like are not magical. They're not slow, but they're not magical, right? And I genuinely feel like Stadia should be a magical, magical beast of loadery. It should just load like buttery smooth and perfect every time, right? That's that's how I feel anyway. Um, and I know that's not. I know that's not really. It's not really the point of Stadia, but I feel like they should work on. They should just put on like ludicrously fast hard drives and load that thing. Uh, we're launching there. Can I? Can I? Can I go to a different screen now? Yeah, I can go to a different screen now. Okay, right, let's uh, move that over to my speakers. Uh, there you go. Is that? Is that? That's not it. That's not it. There you go. Uh, Built-in stereo. There you go. Yeah, yeet. Now we've got sound. Not in, actually sound, but you can't hear the sound, which is which is weird. Uh, <laughs> It's a default uh, built-in stereo. There you go. Now you can hear the sound. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why that was doing. I don't know what that was doing. Where, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it... There, there you go. Where, where to put it? There you go. So this is uh, Destiny 2. Um, this is uh, this is uh, it running on my PC. Now I've got a 970. Uh, I'm obviously running Linux. Um, I was never. It was never going to run this nicely for me. It was never going to, even even if it worked on Linux, it was never going to look this 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 fine for me and be this smooth to play for me. It was just never going to look like that. It's just a fact. My machine not capable of running the game this pretty. Now, if you've got a really high-end PC and you're running Windows, which you might be, I don't know, if you've got a Windows machine or a PlayStation, I guess, it won't look that great because uh, it's running a high, I think it's running a high settings at 1080. So if you're running at 1440 on Ultra, it's going to look better on your machine. Also, the, I mean, you're not again. You're not the audience for Stadia. Or, you know, this is the audience for Stadia. And yeah, I'm I'm very very. Oh fuck fuck fuck! Shooting stuff. I like to shoot stuff. I'm a shooty boy now. I'm a shooty boy. There you go. Yeah, yeah let's see. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can go in here anyway, and you can um, you can you can explore the world, and it's lovely, and it's beautiful, and Destiny is really great. And this is a shooter, right? And one of the things people always ask is about latency, right? So I'm gonna use my trackball here so you can see the big button, okay? Right. There's no latency that, like, you know, and I've played lots of this. I've played a shitload of this. There's no latency to speak of. There's just there's just nothing to worry about with the latency, you know? There's, there's, there's no problems here. Um, and I think that's that's kind of the main worry people have. So it's great. I mean, it's working great for me. Now, Destiny 2 itself, how do I like Destiny 2? I fucking love Destiny 2. Destiny 2, right, is, is a pleasure to play. It is a literal pleasure to play. I've had so much fun. And I didn't expect to have fun with it. I genuinely didn't expect. I'm just turning it down a little bit. Uh, I didn't expect to have fun with it. I'm, I'm like, and like, part of this video is to talk about Destiny 2 as well as I said. Is uh, it's it's continually like if you like shooting, it has great shooting. Like this is some really, really, really solid shooting, without any shadow of a doubt. This is some smooth ass, lovely, lovely shooting that I really, really like. Oh fuck, that that, that wasn't Stadia lag. That was me missing because I'm shit shot. Um, I'll just I'll just go back to punching things in the head. I'm gonna go somewhere quiet where they're not gonna bother me. I'm gonna go back over there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's ludicrously fun shooting. It's like a constant like drip feed of like things to do, um, and it's just complicated enough that you have to work shit out while being quite friendly. So like you can run around and shoot, and it's instantly available, and you can go okay, how do I do this stuff? But then you've got all these quests that kind of take a second to read and go okay, what do I need to do? I need to do that. Okay, that's interesting. You know, like you have to kind of like push towards something with it, and you have to just give it a little bit of a little bit of attention that you don't have to give a lot of shit. Like, it's more, like, slightly more attention than you would give Borderlands, for instance. That's kind of where you are with it, you know? Um, and then you've got, you, you know, you can character and you've got your power levels and stuff. And yeah, I'm having a blast with it. I'm re I'm having a superbly, a supremely good time with Destiny 2. And it is all because of Stadia. And this is a game that I literally, as a Linux user, would never have been able to, uh, would never have been able to, to, to see. Like, without, without Stadia, I just would never have got here with it. I would never have been able to been able to do it, you know. I would never have been able to play this and experience a game. It turns out I really like. Um, we do need more games. There's no doubt. Stadia needs more games. Now, I don't have any doubt. I, I'm like fairly certain that we're going to see more games arrive from Google soon, especially after the first three months are over when it launches officially. That guy's like he sees me and he's standing behind a car. I can't I can't shoot the car. Yeah, I can't I can't bother with that anyway. I can't bother with that anyway. We go. We're going to go back over here where it's safe and quiet. And there's all this equipment that looks cool. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's it's the joy of shooting. And then one of the things that I think about Destiny that I really like is that 
while while it's good shooting, it's consistently good shooting. Like even the most basic weapons feel meaty. Um, the environments like this environment, this is like one. But this here, right, is one. Is not the whole level. Like people see this and think it's the whole level. You can go around by that church thing. In fact, let's let's give you a little tour of this area. You'll see what I mean. So, like, see, this is my Christmas ride. I got this by grinding for cookies. That's the real thing I did. I grinded for cookies, and I got this. You see around here, right? And you think this is the whole level, right? You think this is the whole like you think this is like this is Earth essentially. This little this, this little like kill box you've got over here, right? That's how it feels, right? But this is the whole world. Um, but no, it's not because you can go down there, right? And let's give you an idea of the scope here, right? All I've just shown you is this little bit here, and this whole area is like the Earth level, which is like quite massive. And there's bits off the side there you can't really see in the map that go off into their own sections over here and stuff. Um, you just you just zip around here and just like you say explore and indulge and just you know kill stuff for the joy of killing it. Do public events for you know for, for rewards and generally just like you know fuck around. But then when you not want to fuck around, you got you got all these uh you got all these oh let's let's get that right. You got all these other planets and each planet has got like its own area to fuck around in, right? Like each planet's got its own bit. Like this whole level is huge again. And then you've got this one over here. All these different places to visit, which I like. Because it's like, everyone's got its own, like, more unique scenery. And, like, each one's got, like, every time you go, there's more of that unique scenery. Everywhere you go, I should say. I was badly phrased before. Uh, which I really like. Uh, but then if you do get, if you do want something proper to do, you've got the quest line, which takes you through a single-player campaign. So there's, like, depending what mood you're in, it's almost like it's multiple games. I can fuck around on the planets killing stuff and getting, like, public quests and getting rewards. Or I can go and do actual quests and stuff. Um, or I can do these event stuff to get to get reward like this thing here, um, and you can, there's loads of them. And every time you think you're you're at the end, you get more. It's like there's never like you never quite really get stuff to do, which I really enjoy. Um, and you have got the seeds and stuff as well, which like you get XP for doing stuff, and then you level up, and then level up gives you rewards. Again, not much point. There's not like there's much reward to it, but you know it's nice to. It's nice to you know. It's nice to uh, it's nice to just have that quest hub there. Now it is an MMO, and if you don't like if you don't like at least I say it's an MMO. It's basically an MMO. If you don't like what MMOs have to offer, if you don't enjoy the MMO loop um, of like you know go in there grind or play or just do stuff like bask in the world, if you don't enjoy that gameplay, um, then you probably won't enjoy Destiny as much as I do. Um, or if you don't enjoy playing dress up, you probably won't enjoy Destiny as much as I do. Because you know, um, I'm not saying it's a great game. I'm saying it's a game that I like. And that's oh that's scary. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> it's not that scary actually. It's not. It's not. It just it looks scary. It's not that scary. See, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna there you go. See, not that scary. Not that scary. I've got to kill things with this weapon. This is this is the weapon I've got to kill things with. Let's do, let's do that. So you don't see that every day. You don't see that in your World of Warcraft, do you? I like that. It's a little thing I picked up there. I'm going back over here now. It's safe again, just because I'm trying to talk. Uh, but you can see there's no like you just forget. I mean, this has been streamed from Google servers, right? And, like, once you've played Stadia for, like, half an hour, you stop thinking about that. And you're just enjoying your game. You stop thinking about it. But it's great that, like, when I bought, um, when I bought, I bought a game the other day. I bought, what, did I, what game did I buy? I bought, um, I bought a game the other day. Uh, I bought, I bought, what did I buy? Oh, fuck me, what did I buy? I bought, oh, Rage, I bought Rage. And it was amazing to me that I just, like, bought Rage. And then, like, I hit play. That was it. There was no download. There was no fucking, I just bought Rage and hit play. That was it. That was my entire. That was my entire problem. Buy rage, hit play, and it was absolutely wonderful to do that. And that's when I was like, "Oh shit, Stadia's awesome!" You know, um, it took me that next level. So yeah. Anyway, um, this was my Stadia update. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still using it. Um, I'm still, I'm still in favour. I'm still an advocate of it. I don't have any negativity towards Stadia. The game library's shit. Um, like it really does need. Like it really fucking needs more games to play. It really needs more games. But you can say that about any console launch, right? And it's enabled me to play stuff on Linux that I would not have been able to play before. And that's kind of the main thing for me. You know, I want to, I always want to, I always want to like play new stuff. Like Linux is always, like, I've always like been a Linux user, but it's always about like, I always want to play other games. I always want different games to play. Um, instead, he's enabled that. He just needed to provide the games now. That said, am I still playing less Steam? Am I still like playing less Steam? Um, no, I'm I'm not playing. Less. I mean, I'm playing. I mean, I'm still I'm playing more time gaming overall. I think there you go. There's my Rage Two on on Steam. <laughs> well, I wonder if I, oh my god, I wonder if I've uh, I wonder if how long I've had that. I might have to refund that actually. Not that it really matters. Um, but yeah, it's uh, overall yeah. I'm, I'm I'm games are great, and I'm going to be coming back this week. Uh, I've got um, Nino Cooney, uh, Wrath of the White Witch to play. 
Um, I've got Zork Anthology I want to play. I've got Yik to play. There's lots of things on the list to do videos about. Um, I probably should do a more organized video on Hades as well because I only sort of did a streamy type video for that. So yeah, there's a lot of things I want to talk about in the future. So yeah, just because I haven't seen a video from me a week, it doesn't mean I'm gone. Thank you for watching. I've been HexDSL. I love you all very much. And oh, that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted.